So we have got our free 110 to 112 overall player from La Liga this time. So we're going to be opening up this pack to start off the video. Who are we going to get? It is just unfortunately a 110 overall center mid. But we have got the brand new Founders event in FIFA Mobile. It's going to be the final event we have got in the game before we head over into EAFC 24. And there is a bunch of stuff we can go ahead and do that will hopefully help up our lineup. You can see you got 114 overall players. I think the highest in this event is 1. 120 overall you can see Haaland over there looking absolutely ridiculous but what we're going to do is we're going to open up a couple of packs we'll start things off by claiming up the mystery signings player this time around which is of course that 112 overall Ronaldinho he is going to be the last mystery signings player we get before we are able to claim up our actual ultimate team of the season player. I think it's 115 overall one, so that is going to be very useful. But Ronaldinho is definitely going to be helpful for our team. You can see three out of four before we get our 115 overall. And there are a bunch of players we can get. I think Messi would be absolutely insane to pack Haaland as well. The Bruyne would be an okay pack. And Mbappe and Bellingham, it's just a pretty much stacked pack over there. But we're going to be hopefully getting that one the next time around when we get our mystery signings player. But let's go on to the team. I'm Sorry, but John Bard is going to have to leave the team and we're going to stick in that Ronaldinho over there. So we can go ahead and actually transfer the training we have on John Barnes all the way over to that Ronaldinho. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can either sell the John Barnes because he is going for a decent amount of coins. We can see we upgrade that Ronaldinho up one more. We're up to 130 overall. I think in the last video, we we're at 128 or 129. I got no one on that substitute bench to help us out. But as you can see, that is what the team is looking like at the moment. So I can either go ahead and sell the John Barnes on the market. He's going for about 32 million coins. So he's not doing too badly on the market. Or we can use him in one of these exchanges. I'm not sure which one it would be. It'd probably be one of the tradable ones over here. I'm not sure how many points though he's going to give me in terms of actually sticking him in there. He's not going to give me 100 points. He'll probably give me, what, 30 points over there. So I don't think that's really worth it. Of course, you'll probably get a 114 to 115 overall player. So you might try and get that one by the end of the event. You can see we need 300 club points in total to do that. But in terms of the Founders event, of course, we can go and spend our tokens on these guaranteed players. You've got Madison over there. You've got Roberto Firmino. Then we've got these ones, which are pioneer players, which are going to go into the next season. But you know what? I just thought it'd be a bit fun if we open up these packs over here. These have a slight chance of getting some of the players and some of them are going to be pioneer plays as well. And then at the end of it, once you open up 10, you get guaranteed one of these four. If we can pull this Haaland over here, that'd be absolutely ridiculous. So we're just going to go for it over here. It's probably not the smartest decision at all, but we're going to see what we can get out of these packs we start things off and we get ourselves a 111 zardes over there i think in one of the seasons he was sort of the first player you got towards the beginning of that season so it's interesting to see him back in the game what we're going to get out of the second pack is going to be a 108 overall so slightly worse on that one both of them at the striker position we're not getting any walkout animation or anything like that and we're still pulling 111 overall players which is absolutely ridiculous who do we get out of this one another 111 overall but this time it is at that center mid spot which might be a little bit useful for our team it might upgrade that spot a little bit i think i've got bellingham at the moment and then Rui costa as well who are we going to get out of this one a 110 overall left back that is not going to be replacing that roberto carlos who we got in the last video we've opened up a decent amount of them so far so let's keep things going and open up another pack can we improve on what we've got so far it is going to be this time a 108 overall striker over there i've never heard of half of these players in these packs that we're getting at the moment but what do we get out of this one is going to be those 10k coins and then a 109 overall striker again there seems to be so many strikers in this actual event there's not many of other positions or anything like that there is a lot of strikers so what we're going to get out of this one it's a 108 overall again another striker in the pack they're worth about 2 million coins i doubt i could probably sell them as you can see most of them are untradeable over there but if we get a pioneer player that'd be really really useful because those of course carry over into the next season of fifa mobile we get another 111 overall player over there he is not going to be a pioneer player unfortunately which is sad to see but at least it's another 111 to the squad we can maybe use him and trade him in for some extra club points what are we going to get out of this one it is going to be another 111 i think that's the same one we pulled last time but i don't know exactly how many packs i've opened up we just sort of went with it one by one instead of opening up 10 in one go but this time we get the walkout who is it going to be it's going to be from england it's going to be a goalkeeper and it's going to be from newcastle united so it is going to be that 115 overall pope over there so we get surridge and pope 
both of those guys in the pack. So I'm guessing that means we had opened up our 10 packs over there. But we'll open up one more because why not? Or actually, no, we'll open up a couple more just because I'm feeling a little bit lucky to see what we can get. And we get another walkout. That's back-to-back -back walkouts in this pack. It's from the United States. It's a central attacking mid. No idea what club that is, but it's going to be a 112 overall Aronson over there. That's a good pull. You know what? We'll keep things going. we got two in a row walkout wise. Can we get another walkout? It is unfortunately not going to be a walkout. It's going to be a 110 overall right mid over there. We'll just go through all our points. So we'll open two back to back ones over here, spending 100 of our points. Again, it's probably not the smartest idea to spend your coins on this one. You might be going for the guaranteed stuff instead. We are going to get ourselves a 108 overall center back and a 110 overall striker over there. So I don't think we've got any pioneer players from any of those packs. Unfortunately, we have got a good amount of players. You can see none of those guys, I don't think, are going to be pioneer players. We've got 115 overall goalkeeper, but I don't think he's going to be as good as to stay even with a little bit of training here and there we can use them of course to train up other players to higher levels but i think it's better to probably use them in these exchange sets over here because of course they are untradeable but we can just use them to get ourselves some extra club points and as they won't carry over into next season we can use these club points to maybe get some better and better players so we're just going to keep doing this one just to get more of these club points and hopefully we're going to get slightly better players out of the pack at the end of that one so we've gone through all the players over there can we put in that 115 Pope, we can. So we'll stick him in over here to get 50 club points. And that is going to be everything we can do. So let's see how many points we're at at the moment. 155 out of 300. So we can go into the founder section. You know what? We can just open more packs. I think we'll turn this into a bit of a pack opening in this video. We've just been opening a ton of packs. What are we going to get out of this one? No walkout animation. We get our skill boost, our training transfer item, and a 109 overall central attacking mid. So not too bad. But we can, of course, buy some extra club points. We'll open up a couple of these, of course. We're just spending our coins on this one. We get 50 club points over there. We'll just get another four packs open to get us 40 ones. And then we'll just double check how many points we're actually on because I do want to open this pack just to see what we need. So we need about 60 more club points, which we can get fairly easily just by opening up some more of these ones. Of course, the coins aren't going to transfer into next season, so you might as well spend it on something. I know I could have probably spent it on the market on something, but you know what? We'll just spend it over here. So we've gone through, we got our club points, so hopefully we can do this exchange set over here. I could save up a little bit and maybe get up to 1,000. I do just want to open this pack just to see exactly what we can get. If we can pull one of those 115 overall players, that'd be absolutely ridiculous. But let's see what we can get out of this pack. Is it going to help our team or not have i just wasted a ton of coins and a ton of club points we're gonna have to wait and find out it's from italy it's gonna be a center mid who's it gonna be into milan it is gonna be a 114 overall unfortunately and he's not one of those pioneer players so it is what it is we sort of tested our luck out a little bit it wasn't really there with what we were guessing so the squad is pretty much staying unchanged we could stick in that center mid at 114 overall we'll probably upgrade the lineup a little bit just based on, of course, overall and all of that stuff. We will actually go ahead and stick him in because it will increase the overall slightly. If we go ahead and train him up, we just need to sort of transfer the item from Rui Costa over there. So we can go ahead and train him up to 117 overall. I don't think he's going to stay in the squad for too long. We might have to wait and see what else we can get. Or maybe I use him in some other exchange set as well. But yeah, we are slowly getting there through the Founders event. It's not one of my favorite now and later events. I think we've had better ones in the past, but it is what it is. It's a decent event to go ahead and play through. I like the milestone matches. I'll continue to play through some of those and then we can get ourselves a 116 overall, whether it be that Raul, the Steven Gerrard or the Zanetti. I'll have to see what I get. I think I'll probably get that Gerrard because he is going to be the highest overall out of all three of them going into the next season. But let me know in the comment section down below how you're getting on with the Founders event. What have you managed to get? Is anything helping your lineup at all or have you just been sort of just getting a random amount of players and trying things out like I have just done in this video. Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. And if you want to go check out the full series where we have gone from zero overall to now being 130 overall, spending absolutely zero money on the game, go check out the playlist in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in those videos. Peace.